Hey guys, that is a chicken, and I am Nihon Tiger, and I'm here with the project I've been working on for quite some time. A uh, very simple project. If you have a redstone torch, uh, then you too can do what I'm about to do, and that is open a door, get your torch back. Look at that! Like that. Just like that. So, here in my creative world, and I'll show you what I came up with. Uh, this is actually probably could be a little bit more compact. Uh, I've just kind of built it as a, as a proof of concept. Um, but this is, and this is just, this is something I was using before. So the, ignore, ignore this part, I was just using this for design uh, stuff. But this part here, the blue and the red and all the cobble, this is besides the facade stuff. This is the main uh, little bit of my redstone torch powered door. And the way it works is when I go over here and oh, I forgot to do something here. <laughs> That's gonna mean I can't do this. Uh alright, so here's how it works. Um when I go down here and put a redstone torch here, what that actually does is come on up get back here is a redstone torch right above here so what it does is inverts the power turns this off which unpowers this line and that line connects to this piston with a repeater and that piston with a repeater acts kind of like a redstone clock where the charge passes through the block and when I go ahead and remove that oh, got stuck there for a second Stupid flying um, but what it does is, I'll just show you, when I go here and put this down, come up here, and that's turned off, and that pulls this piston back, this retracts the piston because it's, uh, <laughs> this retracts the piston because it's no longer powered, and this power source here no longer connects to the doors, and the doors, which were uh, powered and therefore closed, open up, come right on in, but the problem is now, uh, Okay, you got your torch here, and your door's open. How do you close it? And it's just a simple piston door, a uh, simple 2x2 two two piston door uh, design. So, how do I close it and restore the status quo? How do I keep this door closed? Answer is that switch. And that was originally, when I did it, it closes the door. When I originally did that, it was a button. And then you go down here. And there's your torch. Now, to show this off, this is actually a toggle switch. And like I said, this is a button. And what it does is it toggles the stack here, this redstone torch stack, on and off. And that torch... <laughs> my mouse, my, my spacebar is kind of broken. Um, but what that does is it toggles this uh, torch stack on and off, which in turn toggles this line of redstone on and off, which in turn powers this. It is a, uh, let me show you when it, close it. But it is a red, is a piston, a regular piston here. Um, and in any case it'll work. Because all it's doing is holding back this block of water. And this was just illuminated for the sake of illuminating. You don't have to put your red soda, your glow set up there. What this does is when deactivated, this rushes right down here and it washes away the redstone torch and it washes it down into a hole that I have so eloquently dug and you can dig your hole however you'd like I just did it this way because it's simpler and I probably would move the, the uh, this this back that way and then move this over here to kind of shorten this up a little bit but what you can do is you can move that that's kind of the beauty of this too you can kind of move this stack because how long the line is and the fact that this only needs to be powering this so you can put it anywhere as long as it's not touching this line here um, so you can kind of customize cu customize it compact it a little bit but what that does is that pushes the water down to here and I put some just filler blocks and it pushes it here along the ice which makes it flow faster so essentially what you're doing is you're just pushing the torch from here where it washes down right to here and the reason I had to use a uh, 
lever instead of a button. I originally had it as a button, but the problem was the pulse I was getting was not long enough to keep the uh, keep the water flowing. So when I did that, it would um, it would just pulse on and off, and then it would the uh, the torch would actually end up stuck like right up here at the, at the mouth. So I didn't want that to happen anymore, and I'll show you in a sec how that works. So let me flip the switch since the door is open and the door closes. And then the water comes down and the torch eventually gets a little bit of a push there and finally it comes back down to you. So you get your torch back. As uh, long as you have a torch on you, 100% renewable. Uh, don't have to worry about hiding anything. Uh, and that's about it. So a little bit of snow here. So I probably will make some modifications of this. I, t I do intend to use this somewhere in my, uh, for those of you who see my Neocraft series, probably use it somewhere in my fortress build um, in a much more compact version. Obviously with uh, with a little more, little little less sloppy on the redstone. Uh, I just I was just trying to build this again as a as a proof of concept so that I could make sure that I could do it and it does work. So uh, if you ever want to give it a shot, feel free to. Uh, the one the things I would advise against are making sure that none of your wires touch. So make sure this line does not touch that line, and that your uh, your power source in this case this redstone torch will actually power through the the piston uh, here to power all of the door stuff. Um, make sure that's not anywhere near this repeater or this line right here. Otherwise, you won't be able to uh, to open the door that way. So again, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you uh, may be inspired to build your own little door. Oh, and the other thing I should mention is because, of course, you know. Ice can be melted through glowstone, so don't put any glowstone down down here to illuminate it, uh, or torches or whatnot. Anything that would melt ice, keep it away from this little channel. That would be bad. Um, but yeah, you can kind of fancy it up however you want. Uh, you can use whatever blocks you want, but that's the basics of the redstone torch powered um, redstone torch powered door, a renewable redstone torch powered door, for that matter. With uh, with torch retrieval, and yeah, you can also adjust the timing on this. Uh, I haven't done any of that t fine tuning yet, just because I've been trying to make sure everything works. So yeah, that's about it. So thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm not you know I'm not claiming to have invented this. I'm sure a lot of other people came along. Um, and have done something similar before so I'm far from the first but just go ahead and enjoy it and if you like the build uh, feel free to borrow it it is uh, community stuff after all so it's not, I have no copyrights on this um, but uh, thanks again and as always uh, good luck good mining and have fun and I'll see you guys next time I've got a, a project to work on which might be right over here my building. I don't know. I'll, I'll tell you next time. <laughs> See you guys. Bye now. Hey guys, Nihon Tiger here again. I uh, just wanted to show this off one more time because as you can see I fixed the door and I've compacted it a little bit. I've moved this lever further back. You can kind of move it wherever you want to move it. Um, I just moved it back a little bit so it's right here next to where the stairs would be. And I've also cleaned up the redstone a little bit. Uh, it's much more efficient now, just with a single line running all the way directly to the pistons. So now you don't have to worry about, you know, extra, extra stuff in the way, and everything works as is. So I've also fixed the timing on these doors. So when I do that now, water, and there you go, same time. Boom. Easy as that. So. Just wanted to show that off and let you guys know that there is a simpler way to do this. So, uh, thanks again for checking the video out 
and uh, be looking forward to doing the next project here in the near future. So, see you around.